Do you see my screen now? Yes, I see. Okay. Yes. 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 Thank you. Then, <clears throat> yes. The topic is uh, Ansible module uh, development. Oh, I think some of you already know and uh, understand how to use Ansible. Uh, we uh, basically we always use uh, Ansible official module like file copy and uh, yeah something more. Uh, but sometimes uh, oh, it's really hard to uh, do some uh, work by on the uh, official modules. Uh, okay, let's go. And this time I tried to develop uh, a new Ansible module, custom module. Well, the motivation was uh, in our project, uh, we tried uh, IP tables, persistent rule file, etc, IP tables, rules, something, uh, updating. And yes, we can update it by line in file module. I think some of you already know. Uh, yes, it support uh, many features like, uh, uh, yes, uh, let me explain more. Line in file module is uh, the module to update the file content. We can insert one line in the file or we can remove the line from the file. We can specify the line by regular expression. And uh, if the file has already that the line, it skip. But uh, if it doesn't have yet, uh, line in file module insert new line. Yes, it's uh, like that, and uh, it's a very good module, but sometimes it doesn't work well, especially uh, like this uh, IP tables rules file. Mm. In this file, we see many, uh, many sections like filter section, to block the traffic or a NAT section to translate the source and the destination. And uh, yeah, you will see some more sections and the line in file uh, can't find the, the correct um, location to insert the line. It's because it support insert before and insert after. So we can specify only one of them. If we select the insert before, we can insert the line only before that part. Uh, but uh, uh, yes, for example, if we want to add one line in filter section, of course that line should be after the filter header and uh, it should be before the commit commit line, and uh, I tried it with the panis, and uh, yes, our conclusion is that we can't do it by this line in file module. The next, we try the command module and uh, use stream editor, and uh, yes, yeah. First, uh, it did it oh, work well, but the. Uh, mm, we also understand the regular expression in stream editor doesn't support uh, shortest match. It always find the longest match. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't prepare something to explain this, about these things, but anyway, uh, it was also not good. We also tried the par, par language and use command module. Um, but uh, we don't know, we actually uh, are not the PAR engineer and uh, we saw some syntax error, then yeah, you know, we shouldn't spend time to uh, understand and try with PAR things. Uh, of course, oh, 
there should be a way and I try to find the solution from Ansible Galaxy. But the Ansible Galaxy is uh, for roles, uh, not the module. Anyway, no split roles. And uh, uh, yes, and tried something, but uh, oh, no solution. I couldn't find a good solution. Then uh, if nobody provides a solution, yes, it's time to try by ourselves. We can create it. And uh, I Googled it. Ansible have uh, yes, documentation about the uh, module development. Uh, okay, let's access here. Developing module. Yes, and uh, we see some instruction here. Uh, yes, time. Okay, ah, anyway, let me back here. Oh, 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 oh. Um, Ansible is uh, written in Python language. So we use Python to develop the module. And uh, uh, yes, Python provide, uh, no, it, uh, Ansible provide uh, some useful libraries and uh, official, libra official module use so that uh, useful libraries in the code, yes, we can reuse it. And uh, one more good thing, all official modules, uh, including line in file module, are uh, open source. We can also see the source here, GitHub, Ansible, Ansible tree, here something, and modules. Uh, let's also access here. Uh, APT, this one is the APT module source, APT repository, and uh, block in file, command, copy, and uh, yes, line in file also here. Uh, yes, and it says something. So uh, it means we can. Uh, get the source from uh, GitHub and we can customize it by ourselves. Then we can add more feature or uh, we can create the module by ourselves and uh, using uh, them as a reference. Yes, I, <clears throat> so that's why I think, yes, we can try to make a custom module by ourselves and try it. Uh, yes, after this presentation, I will show some uh, uh, small demonstration. I created IP tables file module. Uh, yes, and uh, this is a step to create uh, this module. First, create the file here, library, IP tables file.py. This file name is a module name. They are same. They should be same. And copy the sample module source from uh, development guide. Okay, let's back here. Creating a module section. Yes, this is a sample one. Oh, yes. Oh, not so big. I just copied it and uh, create the file in my local. Uh, cool. And uh, update the argument part. Mm, yes, let's move back here. This file has a documentation part to explain what for what uh, this module and the examples. And uh, yeah, some uh, uh, specification things here. Okay. And when we run this file, it go to the main part here. Ah, no, it will go here. 
and run main and run module and come here. Yes, and the first part is define available arguments parameters here using module args. Uh, it's a dictionary and we can uh, yes, we can add the parameters here, name and new and something more. Uh, maybe I should show VS code here. Yes, this is a created file, uh, some documentation. And RAM module, uh, yes, I added some uh, parameters here. Table, or uh, it's filter or not, or uh, something. State, absent or present, IP version, IPv4 or 6, and chain protocol. Yeah, we can add the parameters as we like. Mm, yes, update argument part and update processing part. I will explain later. And after that, test the code. Yes, we can use that the module in our role. Uh, yes, to debug module.log and the message equal something is uh, was useful to check the variable or yes, check. Uh, so just um, yeah, check anything. And after that, after the test, we can add uh, more feature. Yes, in in this module, I added the check mode. Check mode is uh, when we run with C option, it will not run. It's a dry run and uh, we can just check if uh, the module or role works. And showing diff, as you may know, uh, the option D is to see the difference before and after the change. And uh, backup, uh, yes, we can also make a backup file. And validate, uh, like sudo as file, before we save, the change, some file needs the validation. So we can, yes, add the validate support. And uh, yes, add uh, some information as document. Yes, that's a step. And uh, yes, demo, a sec, uh, demo. I already pushed this code to our company GitLab. So I will share the URL to you after this presentation. Anyway, yes, this is a file and yes, define arguments, parameters, and the result to show the result. And uh, make a module instance and pass the parameter to module and uh, run the process. Uh, this code just support present and not absent. Uh, but anyway, yes, let's go to the present part. Oh, but I don't explain uh, detail. Yes, it uh, get the parameters like this, and uh, yeah, do some operation and check if the line exists here. If not, insert it. And uh, to write the change into the file, it support validate. Yeah, we can add the validate command here. 
for IP tables, we can test by user is being IP tables restore and uh, dash dash test and the file name. Yeah, you can define whatever you want. And if mm, back up atomic move. Atomic move. Ah, maybe here. If you want to support the backup, yes, you can enable it. Then Ansible module uh, create a backup file by itself. Yes, then uh, create the file and uh, I put the file in library directory to find the custom library. We can add the uh, one line here in Ansible CFG, library equal library. Uh, if you don't specify uh, the library part, Ansible will find uh, the directory name library uh, in the same directory as in playbook. And playbook is uh, uh, it. <laughs> uh, anyway, Yes, Ansible find the library directory in for the play, playbook, playbook directory. If playbook is in the different directory, we can make a library directory in that directory and move that module file in the library directory. Or you can just specify like this and you can put the custom module here in library directory. And uh, yes, this time I created a host file to run to localhost. Uh, this is a memo, so let's skip. And playbook target host is uh, uh, just a sample. It means a localhost. And the role module test, I created a role here. Roles module test, task main, and the name equal name is something, and the module name is IP tables file. And add parameter here. Uh, yes, now I'm adding a rule in filter table. And state is present, IPv4, and the chain is in 0 to allow. Yeah, you can change whatever protocol, TCP, and source IP, and the port number, and the comment, policy accept, or we can also drop and add the validate and the backup. <laughs> The first yes, now I'm in the directory. Uh, let's run dry run with check mode. Yes, uh, this module is adding new line just uh, before commit. And uh, that commit is uh, just before this manger table. Let's check the file. Ansible is uh, trying to add the new line here. Let's check if uh, this part, this uh, is a correct location. I want to add the line in filter table. And uh, yes, this is uh, in the filter table. Not in, 
not in nut and not in mango. So yes, it works as I expected. Then next, uh, let's uh, write. Mm. This line is uh, added. Yes, added inside the filter table. And one more important thing. Uh, no. One more file is created. It's a backup file. Before. Hmm. Yes, changes on the this part. So we take a backup before that change and apply the change. It also works as expected. And let's try one more thing. Ah, okay. Remove this and uh, Something wrong IP address here. Zero dot zero dot zero dot one thousand. And let's check if validation works. I didn't try, but I think it worked. Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. Validation is not working well, but uh, yeah. Uh, if we uh, define correct, then it should work. I'm sorry, now my module, oh, my module doesn't work, but, uh, ah, I see. Dry RAM mode doesn't support validation, but uh, without C option, it validate. Uh, let's see, fail to validate. Host network 000.1000 not found. Yes, then we don't apply that wrong change. IP tables rules. Ah, yes, anyway, backup file was created. Backup file was created, but the change. Yes, the change was not applied. Yes, that's all. And yes, the conclusion, we can make Ansible module, custom module by ourselves. If you think, if you can't find a good module from official one, let's try to Make it by yourself. Yes, that's all. Thank you. I have one question. <clears throat> okay. Uh, so we see that we put the library in the, we can either put the library in the the same directory as playbook or we define the library in ansible.cfg. Mm, and yes. so it means that this this uh, this this uh, execute uh, will use the that library. So uh, what if we have more than just this module? Uh, Mm. It 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 will use the the library for the other module from the other library and the the library for this module from this library or uh, any conflict or no conflict mm. because we have this library only for this module oh yes and it, okay yeah. And we should also have a, a other different uh, module that 
they'll be not using this uh, library. Mm. So, uh, and any uh, like, uh, yeah, <laughs> in this situation, or no, it 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 will uh, learn that the other module will use different library, and only this uh, custom module will use this uh, custom library. Mm, okay. So suppose we make a new module, then of course we can make that new module in the same library directory. Uh, let's say, um, I don't know. My, 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 my question is that uh, we have this custom module and we, we also use uh, the, the general official module. Mm. So when when we we define in the Ansible dot uh, cfg that library is uh, this one, so uh, will the will the official libraries uh, also know that uh, for them they will not use this uh, custom library; it will use their uh, different library. I see. Uh, it doesn't affect. Okay. To find the official modules. If we want to add our custom module, we can uh, add the file in the library directory. But even we add uh, this part here, Ansible can find the official module. Okay, thank you. Uh, yes, that's that's answer to my question exactly. Ah, yeah, thank you. Too. And can I see the, the problem again on the slide? Problem on the slide. On the presentations, uh, the problem section. Uh, it might be here. Yes, the motivation section. So cannot use both insert before and insert after. Oh, yes, I just want to see this. <laughs> I, uh, I, was, I was thinking that uh, we can use the line module for insert before and insert after, but uh, yeah, that. That's fine if we cannot. Mm. Yes, and uh, uh, unfortunately, they already discussed about these uh, things inside the before and after. Uh, and uh, I found the discussion here. Uh, so we discussed in the backlog today. And uh, yes, they say anyway, they never support both line in hmm, insert before and insert after in the module so uh, i'm sorry it might be not the same topic as you ask but uh, yes okay. uh, thank you um, yes anyway thank you anyone have questions or uh something yes uh i i would like to have one technical question might be not related to ansible but i wonder in the in the code editor uh, we don't see any git uh, file so when you did modify why the code editor could capture the line that you modify you you, you can back to code yeah you see like the line number four library and i don't see any like it's here but why it could capture what you modify mm. Mm. Exactly. But uh, this directory is managed by Git. Oh, I see. I see. Oh, yes. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. Thank you. So maybe VS Code just doesn't show the v, uh, dot .git directory. Oh, I see. Okay. Yes, uh, that's all. Oh, yes, thank you. Any more questions or not?
no more question from me. Just just Hassan, and uh, how do you uh, define this uh, coding module? Oh. Ah. Yeah, if you want, I, I see you using a module dot lock, right? <laughs> yes. And uh, um, yeah, thank you for the question, and uh, thank you also contributing uh, the module update. Yes, now Panis uh, knows uh, maybe more than me, but uh, anyway, let me explain. Oh, 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 oh. It's very um, basic way, and uh, there might be more better way, but uh, I just use the module.log to see if the variable is uh, as expected, like this. Uh, module.log and msg equal line. The line is to add, uh, line is a line to add. We can uh, show anything, uh, any variable uh, to use this module.log msg equal line. Did we see it? Mm. No, let me check. Just be. Mm, no, I sorry, I don't remember. But uh, anyway, let me check it and uh, oh, let me tell you later. Yeah, thank you. So hello. Oh yes, hello. So, uh, so uh, when we run an Ansible module, so. Do we need to apply authentication to uh, have access to uh, the host that we apply a module? Ah, uh, yes, thank you. Good question. Now I just apply it to local host, so no authentication is needed. But uh, most of the time we apply the change in the local machine, then uh, we need SSH to log in the server. And uh, yes, Ansible CFG can have SSH uh, settings here. So if uh, you want to specify your uh, SSH key, you can also specify here. And uh, mm, yes, uh, authentication is needed. And uh, basically, we use SSH to access the remote server. Okay. Mm, thank you. Hello, Sida san. Oh, yes, hello. Okay, I have, I have a question. I saw your, uh, I saw we have the uh, file, which is the action.json format and what the this file is used for argument ah uh, yes to explain it uh, let's back to uh, let's back here in this documentation uh, yes it suggests to Run the module like this Ansible library equal library pass and Ansible uh, and the module name is uh, that the module name and the argument is uh, here. Uh, in this example, they use name and new 
And after that, they suggest to make argument args.json to put the argument here, name and new. And then we can just run Ansible using Python and module file name and argument JSON. So I just created it to follow this uh, document, but uh, I actually didn't need it. I always use the Ansible playbook command. So yes, if you uh, want to use uh, this style run module by Python command, you can make argument uh, file and just just pass the file to Python. Uh, so I mean we have two ways to run the Ansible. One is from the our uh, Habili is the Ansible playbook, and another one we can use the Python command to execute the roles. Mm, yes, that's right. Okay, Stan, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. So uh, in this case, it means that we can uh, store our argument in uh, other file. Mm, yes, we can oh. save it and just run Python command. So and we just uh, get the uh, uh, JSON to run the a key and get the value from the argument. Mm -hmm. so, uh, Yes, that's right. Key is name and new here, and value is hello and true. Yeah. Okay, thank you. And maybe one more question or? So I have one more question. Okay. So, uh, uh, Ansible can uh, assign IP address to any host in the infrastructure. Mm, assign IP address. Mm, it's uh, possible, but uh, mm, I think it's not recommended uh, to assign IP address. I guess Terraform would be better. Terraform is the manage server. Mm. Uh, yeah, network things, but the Ansible just uh, um, apply uh, the changing configuration or run command. Yes, actually, it's possible, but uh, um, I think Terraform would be better to assign IP address. So uh, I just wonder, uh, it's similar to Terraform. So if it apply the module to uh, infrastructure, so what is the difference between uh, Ansible and uh, Terraform? Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you. It's, that's also a really good question. Uh, yes, Terraform and Ansible, uh, it, oh, we can say it's similar, but uh, it, uh, in the use case, we apply Terraform first to make the instance or make a virtual machine. And, but the Terraform doesn't support the install packages or um, change configuration file or um, apply, apply settings. So we apply Terraform first to make the server, uh, create a new server. And after that, we run Ansible to apply, uh, Ansible to install packages and uh, yes, install software and uh, set up configuration for that software. And uh, oh, yes, like that. So both are for infrastructure as called uh, as called the tools, but uh, to make the instance, we, we use Terraform and uh, customize the instance in the server. 
Vlang algebra. Oh, okay. Okay, thank you. Yes, thank you. That's also a good question. Yes, thank you for your questions and discussion. If no more, we can close. Yes, uh, thank you so much, everyone. So, okay. So if we don't have any question, <clears throat> we can close. And yes, uh, we can review what uh, we learned today from our YouTube. And I will publish it to the YouTube. Okay, uh, thank you. Yes, thank you. Have a nice weekend. Oh, yes. Have a nice weekend. Oh, bye. Okay, bye bye.